There are many great camera applications out there for people to choose from. If you're not a fan of the stock camera app that comes with your phone, you also have the option to use many of the third-party apps available in the Google Play Store. Open Camera is a popular alternative that many people choose, but did you know that the user experience of the app can be enhanced by enabling its Camera 2 API option? This is great for people like myself who use a custom ROM like Lineage OS as a daily driver. These ROMs do not have the best stock camera experiences. And it ends in us having to choose one of these third party options to make things better. So if you're using open camera on your smartphone or tablet, you're going to want to enable the camera to API option in the settings, even if you aren't using a custom ROM. This setting adds in additional features to the camera app as long as your device supports it. Open camera lists features like manual modes for exposure, focus, white balance options, and even raw support. But again, this is only if your device supports those features over the camera to API. I have the Poco F2 Pro here and the open camera app offers a number of options even without the camera to API option enabled. It's fairly feature rich on its own, but does indeed miss out some miss out on some useful features if it's set up to use the original camera API. But we can change this by diving into the settings area, scrolling down to the bottom and checking out the camera API option. By default, we're going to see this is set to the original camera API. And when we tap it, we have the option to switch to the camera to API. Just make note that changing the API will cause a restart. So we're going to go in, we're going to change the, fe the feature to camera to API. So right off the bat, we can see that there are some additional options to choose from. We still have our regular photo modes for things like standard, DRO, HDR, and panorama, and even exposure bracketing. But after enabling the feature, we also have things like fast burst mode, noise reduction, if we scroll down here at the bottom, we now have a scene mode option. And up here at the top, we have a manual focus mode, as well as a red eye mode. And these are just examples of the extra features that I'm able to unlock with that setting. If, if the camera on your device supports more features, then you'll likely see those appear in your app on your phone once this has been enabled in that same area that I just showed you. So if you are using the open camera application on your phone, go ahead and check out the camera to API setting and see if it not only improves the image quality of your pictures, but it also unlocks a number of additional settings and features within the app.